The Great War was beginning a hundred years ago, the guns of August rumbling, sounds ominous and low. The world around was changing, but they didn't know it then, the carnage just beginning, that August way back when. Austria fought Serbia, which then embroiled Greece. The other countries soon joined in until there was no peace. A kind of family squabble that got somewhat out of hand. They'd been having a good old arms race. They had to take a stand. New words would soon be common, like Ypres and Verdun, over the top and stalemate and tank and machine gun. The joy of modern warfare a waiting world would see, a new world of death and carnage, dealt out efficiently. While over in America we heard the rumbling too, but it was not our business, beyond our oceans too. A few of us enlisted to go and fight the Hun. Most continued day to day, but we started making guns. An arsenal of democracy, weapons we'd supply to feed the growing mayhem, but never asking why. Take up our quarrel with the foe, the plea from Flanders fields, a cornucopia of tanks and ships, of tonnage and of yields. Oh, we'd get in eventually and join in over there. We couldn't see the consequence, or maybe didn't care. For war is a great adventure when in a noble cause, the gas and the destruction, and killing without pause. The gas attacks, the mud, the death, the vermin in the trenches, the relentless rain of screaming shells to make men lose their senses, the hollow stare of broken men, the shell shock who came home, the parades and all the speeches to welcome back our own. It all began so subtly a hundred years ago. We didn't know it all back then, but now we all should know. John Higgis, July 30th, 2014.